Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. I'm JP and this is Good Talk HQ. In today's episode, we'll take a look at a bunch of great games that you can get right now on the Switch eShop while on sale. Then, as always, we'll recap some games that are still on sale from the previous episode. And it's giveaway time. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to become part of our extended family. We'd love to welcome you. We cover Nintendo Switch content each week and we do live streams with our viewers so we can all hang out and play some video games. And if you've been here before, as always, thank you for hanging out with us again today. We appreciate your support and the love that you continue to show to our channel. We've had another great week hanging out with you all. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay folks, and without any further ado, let's jump into today's list and try to save some money. Alright, I'm going to start off today's list with American Fugitive. This is a single player action title from Curve Digital that offers a main story that will take players roughly 10 or 15 hours to complete and a bit longer for completionists. This is a great game, it's basically a top down GTA with a beautiful 3D world. It's a modern take on the classic sandbox style, featuring destructible environments, epic car chases, a massive open world inspired by the 80s, and a great mature story about crime and corruption. Just like with GTA titles though, the story takes a backseat to the exploration and the side quest oftentimes, but that doesn't hurt the game in my opinion. I strongly suggest checking this one out while on sale before July 23rd, marked down 90% to just $199. Alright, next up we have Animus. This is a single player first person view action RPG and offers a main story that will last players roughly 4-6 to six hours. The game places us in a dark world full of monsters and your goal is to push your way through each stage. The game requires strategy and tactics as you have to learn combat patterns and how and when to use each attack and skill. This one is brutal on casual gamers. You have to also manage skill points, equipment, materials, and learn to master defense. Before each round, you can equip items and change your talents, which will be key to your success. Like in Diablo, each successful round will cause more powerful items to drop in the subsequent rounds. If you're interested in this one, make sure to check it out along with the entire series, which is on sale, but the first game is marked down 60% until July 27th, currently just 319 at an all-time low. Alright, next up we have Cozy Grove. This is a single player adventure sim from Spry Fox with a main story that could last more than 40 hours. This is a life sim about camping on a haunted island and over time you explore the forest each day, you'll eventually bring color and joy back to Cozy Grove. One really cool feature with this game is that it's in sync with real world time and offers new content every day to keep players excited and ready to come back. The hand drawn art style and the peaceful soundtrack are top notch with this game and it's highly recommended. If you're interested in Cozy Grove, you can get it while on sale before July 20th for just $13.44, marked down 10%, which isn't much but it's still an all time low. Alright, next up we have a fan favorite, Crypt of the Necrodancer. This is a rhythm based dungeon crawler for one or two players in local co-op from Brace Yourself Games with a main story that could last more than 20 hours. This is one of my favorite games and one of the toughest I've played in a while. You'll have to move through the dungeons and attack to the rhythm of the beat that's playing in the background. It sounds a bit odd at first but the game is fantastic and of course in a game like this it all comes down to the soundtrack which is amazing. The co-op mode is just an extra bonus making this an even better value. If you haven't played this one yet, make sure to check it out before July 28th while on sale for just $3.99, marked down 80% again to an all time low. Alright, next up we have Cthulhu Saves Christmas. This is a single player parody style RPG from developer Z-Boy Games with a main story that will take roughly 6-8 to eight hours to complete. This game features some of the best writing you'll find in these parody style games and the pixel art and soundtrack were once again top notch. This game sees players forming together a group to fight off the League of Christmas Evil and save Santa in time for Christmas. The game takes heavy inspiration from classic JRPGs from the 16-bit era but with a modern fast-paced spin on several mechanics. This is another one of those games that has an unassuming name but ends up being a really good time. If you're interested, make sure to grab this one up before July 29th while marked down 60% to just $3.99. Alright, and next up we have Earthlock. This is a single player adventure RPG from Snowcastle Games with a main story that could once again last more than 20 hours to finish up. Players will once again form a group of heroes to rescue their loved ones from an ancient cult and uncover the secret of Earthlock. This is another one of my favorite games on the system and it features a fast paced strategic turn based combat system with a great crafting system as well and different skill trees to follow to add some variety to each playthrough. There are 6 playable characters and you can switch between each of them and similar to Miitopia you can form relationships between the party members for buffs and special attacks. If you're a fan of turn based RPGs make sure to check out Earthlock while on sale before August 5th for just $5.98 marked down 80%. 
Alright, next up we have Hidden Through Time. This is a single player puzzle game from Rogue Side Games with a main story that will last roughly 3 or 4 hours. This is a lot like Hidden Folks, which is another game that reminded me of Where's Waldo, but this time it's in color. It has a simple basic premise, with each level representing a specific time or theme of history. You'll have hints at the bottom of the screen to help you find hidden objects in order to progress to the next stage. The graphics are charming and the soundtrack is peaceful, like with Tiny Lands. There's even a map editor. If you want to see a great review of the game, Saved X Gaming did one that helped me decide if I wanted to buy it. Thanks Sophie. But right now you can get Hidden Through Time on sale for just $5.35 until July 23rd, marked down 33%. There is a full version with the DLC that's also available, but it pretty much doubles the cost, so just check it out first. Alright, next up we have Hob Definitive Edition. This is a single player 3D action platformer from Runic Games with a main story that will take players roughly 10 to 15 hours to complete. This one plays very similar to Zelda titles and features a story that pretty much has no dialogue whatsoever. The original version was apparently hard to navigate, but this version on the Switch has been improved with better menus and a more guided story so players will remain engaged. You'll have to explore and solve puzzles in each area in order to progress to the next one, which causes the world to start to shift and change which is beautiful to watch. I suggest playing this one on TV over handheld though, as the blurry graphics do take a lot away from the game in portable mode. So if you're interested in this one, make sure to check it out while on sale before July 22nd for just $11.99, marked down 40%. Alright, next up we have Hue. This is a single player 2D puzzle platformer from Curve Digital with a main story that will last 4-6 to six hours. In Hue, players will explore a grey land in an attempt to find color fragments as you seek to locate your missing mother. The unique feature here is that you can alter the color of the background and any obstacle or object that matches that color will disappear, clearing your path so you can progress further. The world in Hue feels alive and the characters are interesting and each one has a unique story to tell. There's even a colorblind mode to make the game accessible for more players. This is a really cool game and a great value when on sale, so if you're interested in picking this one up, make sure you do so before the sale ends on July 23rd. Right now it's just $1.99, marked down 80%. Alright, next up we have Pode. This is a single player adventure game from publisher Henchman and Goon with this main story that will take about 4-6 to six hours to complete, and it's available for 1 or 2 players in local co-op. In fact, the game was designed with couch co-op in mind and really is a blast if you have a friend or sibling to play with. The story is about a rock and a fallen star, solving puzzles together in a stunningly beautiful world. You'll explore an ancient cave system to uncover its hidden secrets, and you can even combine the two characters' special moves together to overcome tougher puzzles. Now as I said, the game was designed with co-op in mind, but it's completely playable solo as well, if that's how you'd prefer to play. If you're interested in Pode, make sure to grab it up before August 2nd, while on sale 50% off for just $12.49. Alright, next up we have Project Warlock. This is a single player retro style FPS from Crunching Koalas, which are the same people that brought us Butcher, which we played on stream recently with some of our viewers. Now Project Warlock offers a main story that will take players roughly 8 or 10 hours to complete, and we play as a mysterious warlock who embarks on a dangerous mission to eradicate all evil. To me this is a must buy for fans of classic first person shooters. There are more than 60 levels across 5 different settings, hidden keys and pathways, and a bunch of secrets to be found. There's even an upgrade system in place to keep you feeling more and more powerful as you face the relentless assault by demons from all sides. This is a tough game and offers a great challenge. Right now you can get Project Warlock for just $8.99 until July 22nd, marked down 40%. But one thing to note is that the game made me feel a little bit sick after about 30 minutes, so if you're sensitive to motion sickness or any of that kind of thing, make sure you keep that in mind before you make your decision. Alright, next up we have Shakedown Hawaii. This is a single player action RPG from V Blank Entertainment with a main story that will last roughly 10 to 15 hours. This is a fantastic game featuring a top down view, an amazing retro soundtrack, and awesome pixel art graphics. The game immediately reminded me of old school top down GTAs from the early PlayStation days. But you even get to switch between playable characters like they did with GTA 5 and all of the stories are intertwined together. The goal of the game is to shake down and take over all of the businesses on the island until you're the big boss. And the story was great and honestly made fun of games in the genre which was hilarious to me personally. The game like I said is a blast but I have to mention that there's really no replayability so once you finish the game there really is no reason to revisit the island. Either way though this is a great value when on sale so if you're interested make sure to grab it up before August 5th while on sale for just $7.99 marked down 60% to an all time low. Alright, the next game is Streets of Rage 4. This is an amazing beat em up from a long lasting franchise that offers a main story that will take players roughly 5 or 6 hours to complete. 
but unlike the last title, there's so much replayability here that you'll probably spend double or triple that amount of time. Now you can also play the game in local co-op or online, with local being available for up to 4 players while online limits that to just 2. Streets of Rage 4 was the glorious return of the series and features beautiful hand-drawn graphics and animations, an absolutely fantastic soundtrack, and that classic gameplay we all love, just updated for modern gamers. Our friends over at Saved X Gaming did a live stream of this game recently and it was awesome, make sure to check it out. But right now you can get Streets of Rage 4, marked down 40% until July 29th, it's just $14.99 and it's a great option for online gamers. Alright, next up we have Super Arcade Racing. This is an amazing little retro racer developed and published by Out of the Bit Games and offers hours of fun both online and in local multiplayer. You can play with up to 3 others in both modes, now this is truly retro inspired. It immediately reminded me of Pro-Am on the NES, mixed with something like Super Off-Road from the SNES. I also saw this mentioned on Casual Passion's channel recently, and she convinced me to buy it, which is why I had to share it with you all now. The game features more than 50 tracks in 5 different environments, car customizations, and online leaderboards. This is truly a fun time with friends and another great choice if you like to play online as well. If you're interested in Super Arcade Racing, make sure to grab it up before July 23rd while on sale for just $1.99, marked down 80%. Alright, next up we have Terraria. This is an action RPG with a retro aesthetic from Pipework Studios and published by 505 Games. This is available for up to 8 players online or you can play by yourself if you would rather do that as well. Now this one offers potentially more than 100 hours of gameplay and it's always a fan favorite. It's been available for years on other consoles but it finally made its way to the Switch back in 2019. In Terraria, players will dig, explore, fight, and build in this procedurally generated world where you start with nothing but a pickaxe and get to exploring. It's a blend of action and sandbox exploration, with over 300 enemies, 20 bosses, and 20 different environments to enjoy. There's even a big bad boss fight at the end. This is a really huge game with so much to do and so much to find. If you haven't played it yet, please consider grabbing it up before the sale ends on July 24th. Right now it's marked down 50% to just $14.99, which is an all-time low. Alright, and next up we have Tanuki Justice. This is an action platformer from No Gravity Games and is available for 1-2 to two players in local co-op with a main story that will only last players maybe 2 hours or so, but it's a great time and has plenty of replayability. Players will set off on a mission to take out the evil overlord, and that's really the only story to speak of at the beginning. This is a great platformer set in Japan with absolutely amazing pixel art graphics and top-notch sound. The boss battles though were a particular highlight for us, as again, the way that each character model and animation works is absolutely great to look at. Now this is one of those games you can pick up for 15 or 30 minutes at a time and just have some pure fun. Each level is varied both in detail, scenery, and the enemy type, and while some are rehashed each level, the game always introduces something new to keep it fresh. Now the controls are great as well and it offers a lock-on feature, which is always something I love in these type of games. If you're interested in Tanuki Justice, make sure to check it out while on sale before August 6th. It's currently marked down 40% to just $8.99, which is again an all-time low. Alright folks, and here are some series sales and some games that are still on sale from the previous episodes. Be sure to check them out. Alright folks, and it's that time again, giveaway time. This week we found a fancy new wheel of names to use. I hope you like it. Alright, let's see what happens. Good luck to you all. Alright, here we go. Alright, Dennison. Congrats, buddy. Who's it going to be? All right, Louie. Congrats, buddy. Make sure you reach out through email. All right, folks. And if you made it this far, thank you so much as always. We appreciate you giving us a few minutes of your day, and we truly hope you enjoyed the video. Please stay safe out there, and congrats once again to the winners. If this was your first time here, please consider joining our extended family as we do these giveaways for our subscribers each week. Just make sure to be subbed to the channel, drop a like below the video, 
and leave us a comment on one of the eShop sales videos so I can find your name and put you on the next one. Thank you so much. Either way, stay safe and the folks that already are subbed to the channel, the next part is for you. Thank you everyone else. Please have a great day. Hey everyone, if you've already joined the family, please make sure to hit that bell icon. YouTube wasn't allowing people to hit it for some reason, so if you've missed an upload or you left a comment that you weren't seeing any videos, that's probably why. Also, we started doing live streams and pure gameplays, so if you want to come hang out and chill with us in the streams, it's a great way for us all to get to know each other a little bit more. But anyway, that's all I really wanted to mention. Thank you all so much for the love and support. You're all amazing people and part of the foundation of this channel. Please, like I said, stay safe out there, and we'll let Little Man send us on home as always. Later, folks. That's all for today's list. We hope you liked the video. If you did, consider subscribing and liking down below. Okay, bye!